What's up party people, Android Stud here, and I wanted to show you how you can change your power button over here from Bixby and do a couple other things with this by double pressing it. Now, if I double press now, I have it set up to go to Google, but you could also set it up so that you can go to the camera. So if you go to settings, advanced features, you go to side key, you hit side key, you see you can open up, see how I have it set to Google? You can set it to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, probably, most likely. So if you go to quick launch camera, if I double click, boom, there goes my camera. You're good to go. Shout out to Team 100 and the Telegram group. Now, if you go back, you could also set the double click to be Bixby if you want. So if you go to advanced features, set a key, you can open Bixby because you see my press and hold, I changed it from Bixby to the power off button, okay? So if you go to Bixby, then you can open up Bixby. So if I hold it down, it'll have my power off button. But when you get it from Samsung, it's set to Bixby. I have a video on how to turn off your phone. Make sure you guys check that out. But if I double click now, I'm gonna get Bixby. Boom, there's my Bixby right there. So there's different things that you can do um, as far as resetting this power button here on the side by going to fans features and side key. And you could do open Bixby, open app. So you could do a different app. So if you go into here, if you set it and go into here, you could do all these apps. You could do Chrome, Dropbox, ESPN, um, all kinds, Instagram, um, all kinds of cool stuff, Twitter, whatever you want, Spotify, everything, Telegram. You could put whatever you want. If you wanna to go to YouTube, you could do that. You see what I'm saying? So. It's kind of cool how you can remap that button. Um, so I'm gonna change it back to, I actually like having the camera set up there. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to be able to go to Google, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for the quick launch camera, like there. So if I double press, boom, I get my camera. Now if I hit, pre if I press the button here, it's gonna go to my off button. And like I said, you could change that to Bixby if you want also in the side key advanced features button. But that's gonna do it, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I just wanted to show you how you can remap the Bixby button on your Galaxy Note uh, 20 Ultra 5G, also on your Note 20 if you wanna do it. But there's different features on Samsung. That's what's kinda cool about Samsung. They have a lot of different features that you could set up and you're good to go. That's gonna do it, man. I'm Android Stud. Follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, also on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel, like this video if you got a question or a comment about the features on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or the Note 20 5G, let me know and I'll, sh I'll try to help you out the best that I can. But that's going to do it, man. I'm Android Stud. Peace.